What's up guys and welcome back to another eBay miniature rescue. So today I just want to talk about a couple things and then I want to give you an opportunity to pick the next model that I will paint for the channel. So first off I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who has subscribed and shared and liked and given any amount of feedback. I honestly didn't think that this would go anywhere when I started this channel. It was specifically so that I could remember what colors I put on my models. And I typed everything out and I just threw some, you know, garbage background music on there so that there would be something to listen to. Little did I know that that would kill most people listening to it. But, you know, I didn't think anybody was going to watch. So I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I also wanted to say thank you to all the subscribers who have sent things in to me, you know, either to be painted or just to show your support. It means the world to me and I can't tell you how much that helps and motivates and inspires me to try and do the best job that I can. You know, I'm not the best painter in the world and a lot of people, you know, will say that, which doesn't bother me. That's kind of the point, right? It's to get the stuff out to to save those minis that aren't being used so that you can have a good time, you know, with the people that you love. And that's honestly what it's about for me is that sense of restoration and kind of getting to the root of why we play these games or do this hobby. So thank you to all of you who have sent things in. I. I <laughs> thank you. All right, so let's head over to the table and I'll do some, you know, mini rotations and we'll talk about each mini and where it came from. And then just leave your vote down in the comment for which one you'd like to see. And I will do my best to get it out by not, not technically this week, cause this week's video is already done, you know, but next week and beyond. And I'll try and keep that in order of what gets voted for. So I'm gonna put up three different minis and whichever one gets the most is the one that I'll do next and subsequently down from there. So thanks for joining me. I will see you over there. So first things first, I wanna show some of the stuff that's come in recently. I just got this Grey Knight model that I found on eBay for six bucks. For right now, anything Grey Knight related is going to be on the shelf waiting and we're going to get to some subscriber submissions before I paint these guys. A subscriber by the name of Rock Farmer sent these Riders of Rohan in because he wanted to see what I would do, you know, with the airbrush painting horse skin. So eventually I'm going to get to these because I want to do a little bit of a different kind of video. You know, obviously it's not a rescue. So I have to kind of think about what I need to do differently to make that make sense. If that makes sense. So thank you rock farmer for sending these in. I've never done Lord of the Rings before and I'm pretty excited to do this and kind of change things up a little bit on the channel. I also got a letter in the mail from England and I just wanted to answer the question posed in this letter, which specifically was, have I ever thought of doing an old Warhammer 40,000 miniature because I basically do age of Sigmar for the most part. Well, this letter came about a day after that Sisters of Battle Tank went up and that marks the first old Warhammer 40,000 model on the channel. And Mr. Gary Watson, you are in luck. I believe more 40K stuff is definitely coming up. Um, if not those Grey Knights, I'm going to run through some Space Marine stuff and kind of see what else there is out there. I'm starting to get back into... 40k a little bit more um you know I, I really want to do some kill team stuff i haven't played yet but that's definitely 
in the plan and I want to find some old miniatures and put together kind of small count, small number count, kill team type stuff so that, you know, I can rescue the old miniatures and have it make sense. So a huge shout out to Mr. Jonathan S for sending me these color shift paints. I'm absolutely going to be using these in some upcoming projects. I had a lot of fun with that folk art paint, but obviously a lot of people are like, well, green stuff world or, you know, whatever else. There's a couple other ones out there are far superior. And I've done a few tests already with some of these chaos space Marines that were sent in by one Mr. Robert Phillips or Tex mech on, you know, for a handle. Um, these actually will be part of the subscriber choice because he sent me a squad of 10 that he started painting a, a long time ago and didn't end up finishing. So I'm pretty excited to get down on some of these chaos space Marines. So here's, here's some of the test models that I did with the Emerald getaway and Martian green. And I did a little bit of a mixture and I'm trying to go for kind of an alpha legion look for these Marines. And I think it turned out really well. It's hard to see on the camera that, that color shift, but in person and you rotate that and, and it has a real nice look to it. All right, so let's get to the choices. The first choice are three dark Eldar scourges, old ones sent in by Alexi from the happy halfling painting studio. You can find him on facebook.com slash the happy halfling. Thank you very much, Alexi for sending these in and they will be painted pretty soon. The second choice I kind of spoiled already. These are Robert Phillips or Tex-Mex uh, Space Marines, Chaos Space Marines that I'm shooting for, kind of that Alpha Legion look to it. I'm still testing, doing a few things. I don't want to spoil too much, um, but this is the second choice. So if you're into Chaos Space Marines, just let me know. And finally, we have a Korgorath sent in by Blake C. He found this on eBay for a good deal uh, and just sent it on over just to be rescued. And I appreciate that very much, Blake. And I look forward to painting this model. So don't forget to just make your choice down in the comments. Let me know which one you'd like to see. And I'm going to count up as many as I can and try and get the proper number. Hopefully I don't screw that up. And we will get to it next week. Thank you again for joining me on another eBay Miniature Rescue. I'm Casey, and I will see you in the next video.